we got another one in the arsenal. Uh, this is the Radio Shack H2 Hummer that uh, was made, I think, by Nico here quite a few years ago, and uh, back in the early 2000s. It's all complete. Uh, the front brush guard is a little bit broken, and uh, there's no battery. But uh, a customer came in my shop today and uh, gave this to us. So uh, stay tuned for more on this thing. We're going to find a battery to work for it and uh, see if we can get this thing to power up. All right. It works, kind of. It's very, very glitchy. But... Tires are obviously way out of balance. It does have forward and reverse. It steers left and right. So, thanks, Bruce. We appreciate it, my friend. We'll get this thing fixed up and running. First run. Uh-oh, she's glitching. I think the battery's dead. Oh, something's on fire. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you to all of our new subscribers and thank you to all of our subscribers. Um, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video, please hit the subscribe button and uh, also ring that notification bell because uh, it helps us out and tells us that uh, somebody's excited to watch our video and uh, lets you know when our videos come up. So thanks for watching, back to the video. And it melted the battery, yikes. But it did run, I don't know how the heck that happened, but it did, so. At least we know it runs. All right, guys. Should I not have uh, used a 9.6 volt pack in a 7.2 volt situation? Is that what's going on here? Is that why it uh, burned the leads? Or did they just catch on something on here and short themselves out with my quick duct tape job? Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Hey, Gray, what you got going on here, bud? We got a little drift area here. It's a patio we never use and it's all covered in dirt and debris and whatever. Made a little ramp out of uh, some old drill grates and a bunch of yard waste. Uh, hey, uh, gotta do what we gotta do with this stuff, right? But the kid's sick and he needed something to do because he's bored, so he decided to do this. I think it's a good idea. What do you think, Gray? I think it's a good idea. Have a good all right, so here's Grayson's drift track that he created. We've got the ramp over there, got a little opening so we can get in and out. We got a piece of corrugated tube here to uh, kind of block it off from the rest. And uh, now he's going to uh, drive his four wheel drive buggy around. Just like uh, Cletus McFarland's track, right, Gray? Sure. Heck yeah. This little buggy's awesome. Being four wheel drive, it takes the jumps well, it goes through stuff. The creative mind of an 11 year old, he thought of this all himself. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Thad, for Iowa Budget RC, have a great day.